Okay, so today we're going to be learning how to create a cube using one point linear perspective. So what you will need is a piece of paper or your sketchbook. You'll need a ruler, preferably a clear one so that you'll be able to see through it to see your lines and your points. You'll need an eraser and a pencil. And then I also have a worksheet for you that also will show you step by step how to go through this process that I'm about to show you. Okay, so the first step on your worksheet is going to show just a line, a horizontal line. And what that line is, is going to be the horizon line. Okay, so the horizon line is going to be the imaginary line where the earth meets the sky. Okay, so that's the first step that we're going to need to draw on our paper. So for the horizon line, it doesn't necessarily always have to be right in the center of your paper. And in fact, if you want a more interesting composition, it's better to use the rule of thirds. So doing it in the top one third or the bottom one third is going to give you a little bit more of a dynamic composition. Okay, but for the purpose of this, because of the fact that we're going to need to create a shape above, on, and below the horizon line, I'm going to do it in the middle. But just know that you can put it um, anywhere on your paper. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I need to make sure that um, I have my ruler on my paper. And what I want to do is make sure that the ruler is parallel with the tops and the bottom of my paper. Because if you have it kind of at an angle, which not to say that it couldn't be this way, but unless you're building on a hill, then you probably want to have it, um, for the most part, pretty straight. Okay, so make sure that you're holding your ruler in the middle, like I am here, um, and pr put pressure down on it. Because if you're just holding it on one side and start to try to draw, your ruler will move really easily. Okay, so make sure that you are holding your ruler correctly. So hold it. Once you get it where you want it to be, hold it with all of your fingers and press down hard. Okay, and then I'm going to just barely, if you look at how I'm holding my pencil, I'm barely holding onto it and just dragging it across the paper. Okay, so if you're holding your pencil like this, what you're going to do is you're going to put a really, and you're going to press down, it's going to indent your paper. And then if you want to come back and erase this later on or draw buildings or whatever over the top of the horizon line, then what it's going to do is when you do your shading, it's going to draw a, have a white indented line in your paper. So make sure that you are holding your pencil very loosely. Um, I like to, my pencil's not quite long enough, but usually I would hold it kind of something like this, where the butt of the pencil is in that fleshy part between your thumb and your index finger. Okay, that way you can just rest it there and just literally drag it along the edge of the ruler and onto the paper. Okay, so um, I am using a six or four B pencil. So that you're able to see this on the video um, but just keep in mind that everything that you're drawing you need to draw it very very lightly okay so the, there we got the first step which is going to be the horizon line okay in step two of the worksheet you're going to have a point right in the middle so this point is going to be called the vanishing point now this point is one that is again it's an imaginary one so when you do go through and draw it make sure that you don't do it really darkly like like this in, on the worksheet or like i do because you're going to want to erase it. So um, again, the vanishing point can go anywhere along the horizon line that you want it to go. Um, and again, for a more dynamic, interesting perspective, um, you might put it you know, on one of the sides. However, because of this way that we're gonna be doing this demonstration, I'm gonna do mine in the middle, okay? So again, you don't want to make it too dark. I'm making it a little bit darker just so that you're able to see it. Okay, so that is step two. Now step three is going to be drawing a square okay using our you can either use your ruler or you can use just just freehand it but just keep in mind that if you want it to be you know like a perfect square you might use your ruler i'll show you how to do that so uh what you want to do is make sure that your ruler is again just like we did with the horizon line that your ruler is parallel with the top and the bottom of your paper okay once you have your ruler straight then we're just choose a, a place to draw on the the ruler here I'm going to do between the one half and the two and a half, and that's just a good solid inch. So you can kind of see that. Then what I'm going to do is from there, without taking my ruler and moving it all around, if I hold it on both ends of the ruler and very lightly and very evenly and slowly push straight up, what's going to happen is, is I'm going to get a nice straight, for the most part, try to be even so that you can get another straight line, okay? So, um, but sometimes this takes a little practice to get good at it. Um, always go through and make sure that your the, your ruler and the bottom of your paper or top are parallel still. So mine's got a little bit off, so I'm just going to kind of fix that. 
And then again, I'm just going to, uh, my ruler didn't move too much left or right. So I'm going to go ahead and do the one half to two, to two and a half for another inch. Okay, so that shows the top and bottom of my square. Then I can turn my ruler vertical. And same thing, I want to line it up with the edge of my paper. Mine goes right up to it. Easily do that. Then I'll just drag that straight down. And then again, slide it straight over, keeping the ruler even. And then again, double check, make sure that it is parallel. And then come down and connect your dots. So this is where, again, where it comes in nicely that you, when you have a clear ruler so that you can see where your lines end. It can be done with a solid ruler, but it just makes it easier with a clear one. Okay, so now we have our square. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to turn this square into a cube using vanishing lines. So what we'll do is we'll be connecting each of these corners to the vanishing point, okay? So we'll start with the, the left one. So we'll, con we'll line up our ruler with the vanishing point and the top left corner. And very, very lightly, again, holding your, your pencil very loosely, but holding your ruler firm, you want to very lightly drag your pencil until you come to the vanishing point from that far left corner. So you'll have a straight line like that. Okay, again, you want to make sure it's very, very lightly because most of this in this area is going to be erased here in a little bit. Okay, so now we'll move to the second one, the top, the top right corner. Can line it up with the vanishing point and very lightly drag your pencil along the ruler. Okay, so then now we have two. Now we'll go ahead and connect the bottom right line corner to the vanishing point okay so then that gives us the bottom one now um, we're going to go ahead just for for practicing purposes <laughs> we're going to go ahead and connect this bottom left one um, even though we already technically have a cube but i just want to make sure that you're aware that this is um, part of the process because for some shapes you might actually need to do this it just kind of depends and it depends on what you're doing with this but so what we'll do is we'll line up our bottom left corner with the vanishing point and then draw that line straight back. And then you can see that that has created a transparent cube now. Okay. So, but for this, we don't really want the transparent cube. So we'll go back and erase that line, but I just wanted to, to let you see what that look, would look like. Okay. So um, what we'll need to do now though, is let's look at, uh, we want, we, this cube goes back to infinity, right? Is what it looks like. So what we need to do is we need to chop it off because we want it to be a smaller cube. So the easiest way to do that is look at your top line of the top of your cube, line your ruler up with it, and then just like we were doing whenever we drew the ruler on dragging it straight up or straight down, that's what we're going to do here to find that same angle, okay? Because a cube and a square are parallel lines, right, on the tops and on the bottoms. So what we want is another parallel line back here to cut off the cube with. Okay, so again, find line your ruler up with it, drag it straight up, trying to keep it as even as possible. And you can always double check that with the bottom of your paper, maybe, and also your horizon line. And now, so whenever you get to the point of where you're happy with the distance between the front of the cube and where you want the back of the cube to be, then you're gonna draw a line to chop it off. Okay, so what you wanna do is Find that, that left line, drag it all the way until you come to the first line, which is going to be that second middle line right here, right? The top, that is your far right side of the cube. So that will chop that off. It should be the same distance as that one in the front, okay? Now we'll need to chop off this side as well. So we'll do the same thing between the second line and the last line here. We'll draw a straight line. So again, find the angle of the right side of the cube, drag it straight back and straight down. Okay. So now we have chopped off the cube. So uh, just to make it, you might go ahead and erase that last line so you can see what that looks like as far as it being solid. You don't always have to draw that line that's on the inside, especially once you get the hang of this. You won't need to draw that um, because it can, it, it can be a little bit confusing. Okay, I got off a little bit on the steps. So that was, um, let's see, so we did step four with the square. Then we just cut off um, the line. So that was step five. Okay, 
So um, now we're going to move on to step six, which is going to be erasing those lines. Okay, so now we'll need to go through and erase our vanishing lines, part of the cube that we don't need anymore. Okay, if you happen to erase a little bit of your shape or your horizon line, just kind of try to sketch it lightly back in. Okay, so there we have a cube that is below the horizon line, and we can see the front side, the right side, and the top. Okay, so we cannot see the other sides, only these three. So now let's go ahead and do, um, so that was step six. Let's go ahead and start with step seven, which is going to be drawing um, a, a cube on above the horizon line, okay? So this one in the worksheet is going to show you off to the top left, so I'll just do the same. So again, I'm going to find the line, uh, line up my ruler with the parallel with the edge of the, my paper. And bring that straight down. And now we're going to drag that straight over. So we're happy with the size of our shape. Make, again, making sure that it's parallel. Drag that straight down. So now we have the left and right side. Now let's find the top and bottom. So making sure it's parallel and connecting the top and bottom, I mean the left and right, and dragging it straight down and connecting these two. Okay, so now we have another square, but this time it's gonna be above the horizon line, okay? So now we're gonna do the same thing we did with this one to turn a square into a cube using perspective. So using vanishing lines, you're gonna connect the bottom left corner to the vanishing line. Again, holding your pencil loosely, very, very lightly drawing a line to connect that. Okay, and then we'll do the middle one, bottom right, very, very lightly, dragging it and connecting it. Same thing with the top right. Very lightly and connecting it, okay? Okay, so I'm not going to do that one on the, the inner edge because I already can already see that this is a square, right? Or a cube, excuse me. So um, just because I don't want to confuse you with it. Again, we can see that it is going into infinity. So the next step is going to be chopping it off, okay? So we need to find this angle that's on the right side. So line your ruler up with it and drag it straight over very evenly until you're happy with how big your cube is going to be and then connecting the bridge between the top line and the middle line. Okay, again, making parallel lines to make the back end of the cube. Now we'll turn our ruler horizontally. We need to find the bottom angle, drag it straight down evenly until we come to where this line just ended. Okay, which is about right there. Very lightly drag that line over until we meet that other line, which would be the uh, left side of the cube. Okay, so then you have your cube. And now the next step is going to be to erase our vanishing lines. Okay, so with this one, so this is above the horizon line, so we can see the front side, the right side, and the bottom. Okay, so you can see that depends on where you're at on the horizon of what sides you can see of the shape. Okay, so we just did steps eight and nine and 10, okay? Now we're gonna move on to step 11, okay? So that is gonna be drawing a square on the, on the horizon line, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing that we did before, make sure our ruler's parallel with the edge of our paper. And you'll just wanna make sure that whatever line you draw, that it will be, I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger, uh, make it sure that it is crossing over the horizon line. Okay, so get my angle back, drag it straight over until I'm happy with the size. Drag that straight down. So now I have two parallel lines. Now we need to make the top and bottom of the cube. So again, making sure that it's parallel with the bottom of my paper. Dragging that over, dragging this, find that angle. Drag it straight up. and connect 
the left and right side, and now we have a square. So with, now we need to turn this square into a cube. So how we're going to do that? Again, taking the vanishing lines back to the vanishing point. So find the bottom left corner, line it up with the vanishing point, and lightly drag that line back to create a vanishing line. Then we're going to find the top left corner and line it up with the vanishing point, and again, very lightly drag that line back. Now we have two vanishing lines. Now you could go ahead and draw these if you wanted to, the right, uh, right sides. However, because of the fact that this is gonna be a solid shape, we're not gonna be able to see those anyway, okay? So, um, but again, if you wanna do it, you could, or if you were trying to draw transparent shapes, then it would be um, essential to do that. But because of the fact this is gonna be an opaque shape, what we're gonna do, wanna do next is cut off the shape because it's going back to infinity, right? So anytime that you can see it going back to infinity, you know that you always need to, the next step is cutting off your cube. So we need to find the angle of the left side with our ruler, drag that straight over evenly until we're happy with the distance between the front of the cube and the back of the cube. And then because of the fact that we only have two lines here, we're gonna be bringing this straight down. And the reason is because that line in the middle is actually the horizon line, right? So that line doesn't really count here because we're talking about the top and the bottom of the cube. And if you end up drawing it only to there and then coming inwards, you're going to have a wonky shape, which may be fine if you're trying to make a wonky shape. But if you're trying to make a cube, you want to bring it straight down like that. OK, so now what we'll need to do is go back in and we'll need to erase the horizon line out of the cube. And then it'll make a little bit more sense to visually once you see that's not in there anymore. You don't want to erase the horizon line over here because uh, you'll still need that possibly with your composition. It just kind of depends, but for these purposes, we're not going to erase it. Okay. Now, uh, it's almost impossible to erase the horizon line out of, a, out of a shape without erasing some of the bits. So just go back in and draw those on. Okay, so now we have cube that is on the horizon line. So for this one, you can see we only see the front side and the left side. We cannot see the top or the bottom. Okay, so it depends on where you are above, on, or below the horizon line as far as how much you can see of each shape. Just to review, so we've got the horizon line. It's going to be this line that's back here, the, the line that where the sky meets the earth. We've got the vanishing point, which is going to be that imaginary point of where all the vanishing lines seem to converge on the horizon line. Um, something important to note with one point perspective is that you have three types of lines. Only three types of lines. Okay, so those three types of lines are going to be horizontal lines. Okay, so we've got our horizontals, right? Right here, we did horizontals. We have verticals. Okay, so the verticals are what make up our shapes up and down, right? And then we have vanishing lines. Okay, so the vanishing lines, also known as orthogonals. Okay, so those are going to be the lines that are usually going to be diagonal, but they are going to be the lines that create the illusion of depth that create the form for your shapes, okay? So other than that, you should not have any other lines whenever it comes to one point perspective, unless you're drawing a landscape or something like that and you're drawing mountains and that sort of stuff. But as far as doing geometrical type uh, line uh, drawings, it's gonna be these only these three types of lines, okay?